We asked for rice. Instead, they gave us bullets. The words of one of the leaders of the food protests. Thousands of farmers have been blockading the highway into the impoverished Kedawa Pawan city since the middle of the week, demanding the government provide 15,000 sacks of rice to feed their families. As the Philippine authorities moved to disperse the crowd, gunshots were fired and rocks hurled into the air. At least two demonstrators died and dozens injured, including over 20 police officers. Panicked protesters picked bloodied farmers from the highway and treated their wounds by the roadside as they were sprayed by water cannon. The farmers are starving, the protester leaders say, because they have nothing to eat. Behind all this is a rise in global temperatures. Scientists say that's partly driven by our greenhouse gases and partly by a natural cycle called El Nino in the Pacific, where warm water releases heat and disrupts weather around the world. It's not just the Philippines that's been struck by drought. Thailand is asking its farmers to take radical measures. Even if we have less water, but we, we deal with the people and we ask and we request for the people to help the government and help the people in Thailand to use less water, to not irrigate dry. Tens of millions of people in Southeast Asia are affected by the low level of the Mekong, a river system that flows into Laos, Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam, causing the whole region to suffer the worst drought in more than 20 years. Although El Nino is expected to decline in strength, the UN is forecasting that harvests will continue to be affected worldwide throughout the rest of this year. David Campanale, BBC News.